God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela Jaga. Like always, very excited and blessed to share with you a word from the Lord. I want to bring you some encouragement today. If it's your first time here, do not forget to like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love to be connected with those that are receiving these prophetic videos and what the Lord is saying to them. Today, God wants to remind someone to get back on it, okay? Get back on track with the Lord. I want to remind you of a statement that we always like to say. God is good. All the time, God is good. If you've been wondering whether or not you should surrender to God, whether or not you should give your life to Him, let this be the video, okay, that almost like motivates you and even encourages you to do so. Do not delay the promises of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of John that we didn't choose God, but God chose us. So if you've been feeling in your heart that there is this call over your life, that the Holy Spirit is calling you to spend more time in his presence, that there is something greater, it is not a coincidence, okay? God is only going to reveal so much to us because he is God. And if at this moment he is revealing himself, to you as your redeemer and as your savior that it is the best time for you to give yourself to him because that is a way of him let, letting you know that there is something better that god has purpose for you that that situation that you're facing is not the end of your life so get back on track the bible also says to not be like those that wander between two thoughts that one day you say yes i'm gonna serve god but then the next day oh you were all talk you don't want to be like those individuals because again all it really does is bring delay to the promises that god has for you and then you get frustrated because you say well why isn't god answering well make sure that you are on track with what god is calling you to do if you fell to sin if you fell to temptation it is okay because something that we must understand as believers that this is a lifelong commitment that's why the bible says that seven times the just falls and god picks him back up because god knows that you are going to fall god knows that you are going to mess up god knows that you're not perfect that you don't understand everything that is in the bible just yet and that's why it's a life commitment because the word of god is life the bible says it's alive and it's within us right the only way we're going to be refined the only way we're going to become the image of god is after every time we fall we get back up and we tell the Lord, God, teach me, you know, make me stronger. Educate me about this sin. Why can't I overcome this? Why can't, whatever that might be for you. But key, the key is to go back to God, okay? To go back to, to God. Don't fall, don't mess up or whatever that might be for you. Don't get discouraged and then say, oh, well, that's it, I'm done. That can't be in your language anymore. That can't be the way that you think any longer, especially if you've engaged in spiritual warfare, because the enemy is going to try to come and destroy you if you make the decision to leave God. OK, so if you were thinking about that, if you were getting discouraged, it's OK. Many people get discouraged, but just shake it off. Go for a walk. Listen to some worship music, because a lot of times that oppression that comes is from the devil. Like it's happened before that that oppression would try to attack me and i would put worship music on like i would force myself and then it would leave and i was like wow like i don't even feel that way anymore and that's how the lord started to teach me that a lot of times those attacks that we're facing are not because of us it's not because we don't love god but because the enemy is trying to keep you away from what god has for you okay so get back on it it's not over for you it's not lost you're not a failure whatever lie the enemy has been telling you today i'm here to tell you none of that is true it's about to get better for you god has plans of good and not of evil and you're getting ready to witness the goodness of god so get back on it okay throw away the sad clothes go get yourself a cute top if you're a lady if you're a gentleman to dress excuse me dress the best way that you can because reflect you know that you're a good a new creation and that god is doing something in you again it's not over for you it's not the end for you 
get back on it, okay? Spend some time in the presence of the Lord because God is getting ready to download to many of you new revelation, new ideas, new plans, new blueprints. Get back on it, okay? It's about to get better. This was your friend Daniela. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.